Blessings to you on this day. Let us pray. O oh, loving Creator God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be pleasing to you, our strength and source of life. Amen. Merry Christmas. Christmas is not only the day of the birth of Jesus, but it is also a season. Christmas continues through to the day of Epiphany on January 6th. In some cultures, the day of Epiphany is when gifts are given. Christmas trees are traditionally kept up until the end of the season. In the wisdom of the church, we have a season of time to reflect on the meaning of Jesus' life in our lives. We need this time. We need time to move out of a long season of Advent waiting and into the season of Christmas. In this strange year, it may be an unexpected gift for us. This season of Christmas and this time of COVID-19 is an opportunity to celebrate the birth of Jesus in a new way, hopefully in a way that will deepen your understanding of this special event in human history. While each of us have been affected in our own ways, we have all been affected by this global pandemic. We all in different ways have been forced to change our daily routines. Some of those changes have not been a problem while others have been and more difficult to accept. Some of us welcome the changes while others hate it and fight it tooth and nail. We have become keenly and painfully aware of those things that we had never thought about before. We Christians know that Christmas is not about the songs, the parties, the festivities, the gifts and the lightings. Many of us just happen to like it. Some of us even miss walking through the Garden State Plaza and hearing Christmas songs blaring through the speakers. And some of us may find this muted Christmas a relief. Christmas can be a painful time. It may be a time that has always been difficult. In an unexpected way, maybe this Christmas has provided the space and time to acknowledge our sadness without feeling like we are standing out. Maybe we don't quite feel as alone in our sadness and grief as in previous years. Maybe this Christmas, we have found our focus is on the baby Jesus in a way unlike in previous years. In an unexpected way in this time of a global pandemic, this 12 day season of Christmas feels like an unexpected gift. We have an opportunity to reflect more deeply on the meaning of Christmas. As we look again at the Christmas story, maybe we see more of how Mary and Joseph struggled. The birth of Jesus feels more human, less perfect and sugar-coated. We may recognize the somber tone of his birth. The normalcy of Jesus' birth is brought into focus. The baby Jesus was a real human being born as all human babies are born after a long, painful struggle from their mother's wombs and through the birth pains that all mothers feel. Maybe we can now appreciate the toppings of the Christmas season, the lightings, the songs, the gifts, and the parties for what they are. They are not the essentials of Christmas. They are not what makes Christmas Christmas, we can live with them or can, we can live without them. In today's Bible readings, in the words of the psalmist, Isaiah, Simeon, and Anna, we hear the promise of God's love. We are assured of new life and new growth. The young family of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus is given wisdom and a blessing. Whatever the future may hold for them, God is with them. When we are feeling pain, lonely, or sad, when we are angry, mournful, and adrift, wherever we are, God is with us. We can ask God for healing and transformation, 
we can find hope and comfort that we are not alone. We ask our loving God to hear our prayers for ourselves and for others. We offer them to God for healing and transformation, wisdom and understanding. We pray for the healing of others and for the planet. The psalmist invites us to see the beauty of God's love reflected in the small ways. To find God in the ordinary places. Look for God. God is at work through small gestures. Small gestures that encourage us and remind us that God is with us. That God loves us. And maybe that's what we need at this time. Nothing grand, nothing big and glorious and loud. Something small and intimate. Something human. On a small, quiet, somber evening long ago, a baby was born. A Savior was born for you. Yes. For you, for me, for us. Jesus was born for you, for us, to show us the true meaning of life, to show us how to live our lives in a way that truly matters. Jesus was born so that it would be revealed to us the beauty of our own being made in the image and likeness of God, made in love. God bless you. Amen.